Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another very simple and simplistic spell that you can do. Uh, you can do this for abundance, for a certain amount of income that you're looking for. You can do this to heal yourself. Uh, if you're going through any type of illness, any type of difficulty, uh, basically getting, you know, recuperating from surgery, whatever it is, you can actually do this for anything, okay? Now, this is to work on yourself and only yourself. So what do I mean by that? This is not a spell for you to get a certain outcome or a certain result uh, having to do with other people. You can only do this for yourself. And this is for, again, like I said, um, to get results and to manifest whatever it is that you're wanting. But this is for yourself only, okay? Not to be confused, so I don't want to see you guys posting on the comments, can I do this to bring my lover back, etc. No, you cannot. This is only for yourself, okay? So the best form to use this type of spell work has anything to do with money, income, um, stability, or health. Whatever that may be for you, everyone has different needs and desires, but this spell is specifically for that, to give you the most ultimate result, okay? It's very simple, very easy. All you're going to need is water. Yes, water. We're going to be using the element of water. Uh, as you guys know, I work with all the elements, but water is a very, very powerful um, element that we use in the craft. And the reason for that is, well, our body is actually uh, water. Um, so again, to get results, to get very strong, effective results, uh, the element of water is going to amplify that because you're going to be intaking it. Okay. So you're going to be needing water. It doesn't matter what kind of water you guys, obviously, you know, here's the thing. I, I get a lot of uh, questions in regards to, um, alkaline water, mineral water, or spring water, or even distilled water. It does not matter. Okay. It doesn't matter so long as it's water and it's clean and you can consume it. That's all that matters. Okay. The other thing you're going to be needing is a glass. Okay. This is going to be a glass or a jar that you're going to be using for 15 days. So do not get, um, an example, do not get a glass today. And then tomorrow you forget where you misplaced it or whatnot. And then you go and get another one. As all the energy is going to be charged into this glass, you're going to be using one specific glass or jar, okay? So the next thing you're going to be needing is, this is optional. You don't need it. <clears throat> you don't necessarily need it. For me, obviously, if you're trying to manifest something, you have to get yourself grounded and detach yourself from any type of... Um, Anything that is going on in your life in the present, you need to detach that, detach yourself from that. And in order to do so well, it's very important for you to ground yourself. So again, like I said, it is not necessary. Nonetheless, I do highly encourage you uh, to get incense. So I know you guys are going to be in the description below. What kind of incense? Uh, I have this incense. Can I use this? Da, 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 to make it very simple. So what you're going to be using, my suggestion, if you do decide to use an incense, is going to be an incense that's going to purify and cleanse the energy around you. So um, what you can do is you could burn Palo Santo, or you can burn sage or sandalwood. Uh, it could be the herbs, it could be the incense, whatever it is that you decide, whatever it is that you want, that's the one you're going to go for, okay? Okay. Um, if the country where you're from doesn't have, you know, sandalwood doesn't have, uh, you can even use frankincense, um, whatever it is, you know, you can get any type of, any type of incense that is a purifier and that it helps, uh, to ground yourself and to remove any excess negative energy. Okay. So let's get into this very quickly. So what you're going to do is every single day, early in the morning before you drink or intake any type of food, whatever it is, you're going to be using, uh, you're going to be doing this ritual. 
So for 15 days, every day when you wake up, you know, of course, you're going to do your things, go to the restroom, pee, do whatever, brush your teeth, whatever. When you're done, what you're going to do is you're going to get water, whatever kind of water you have. Um, this is not sponsored by whatever the water is. So just, you know, just cause I had it. So anyways, you're going to be pouring it into the glass that you're going to be using for 15 days. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to open ourselves up as a vessel to be able to call out to the universe what it is that we want by charging this water and intaking it for 15 days. It usually takes about seven days to actually start to see the effects. Nonetheless, you do this for 15 days, or you can continue doing it as you progress and start to experience greater results. So anyways, once you have the incense going, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to ground yourself. You're going to call on your spirit guides or your uh, guardian angels, whatever it is you work with. And you're going to ask them to allow you to tune into your higher spirit to be able to, to be able to, um, Concentrate your mind into that which you're wanting to manifest so that your energy can be amplified and to the highest frequency. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the glass or the jar, whatever you're using, and you're going to put your intention towards what you're wanting. Be very specific in this process. So what do I mean by this? An example, if what I want to manifest into my life is $10,000 as an example, then I'm going to put all my energy into this and I'm going to speak into the water. So I am going to say, I call upon into my existence, $10,000 may it come for me or may it come to me through any source or avenues of abundance and prosperity. So what I'm doing now is I'm tuning into the energy. When you're doing this, very important to note, the first three to four or five days that you do this, you're going to feel a lot of tingly sensation in your hands going into the glass. This is exactly what you want as you are putting energy towards your intention, okay? And you're going to start to try the best you can to feel your way into uh your manifestation. So what I mean by that is when you're doing this, you're still holding the glass with both your hands and putting the energy towards it. You're going to say, I bring into my existence now $10,000. And you're going to envision money coming into you. You can, you know, your imagination is going to play a very important role. So the best way of doing this is how are you going to feel when you open your wallet or your purse or whatever it is and you find $10,000 in there? When you see this, truly visualize this while you have your eyes closed, how are you going to feel? What are you going to do with those $10,000? If you're doing this for health reasons, um, as an example, if you're trying to heal I don't know, any type of disease. An example, if you have high blood pressure, uh, you're going to envision how you're going to feel when your doctor comes back and communicates to you that from some strange reason or miracle, you no longer have high blood pressure. They're going to be asking you, how did you do it? Have you been changing your diet? Have you been de-stressing? Have you been, and how are you truly going to feel when you get the results of negative, whatever it is that you may be experiencing or going through. So through this process, uh, the reason why I say is feel into the energy is because when you're feeling it, when you truly feel it, it's one thing to say out loud, I want $10,000. And it's a completely different thing to actually say, I want $10,000, close your eyes and meditate on the feeling of it. Because when you do that, your energy is being amplified and you're putting this intention into this glass, okay? So once you do that, whatever it is, whether it's health reasons, um, whether it's abundance that you need, um, what is it, as an example, if it is for abundance and for prosperity, 
What are you going to do with those $10,000? What is it that you're going to feel? The relief, the knowing that you don't have to worry, the, the feeling of complete and utter uh, gratefulness and being blessed by the universe. Once you get the motor running, the motor meaning your head, once you get the motor running, you're going to put all this intention into the glass, okay? So you're going to hold it out and you're going to say, I call upon to my existence here and now, $10,000. May it come to me quickly, may it come to me effectively, and may it come to me as soon as possible. Once you feel this intention, really feel that energy, feel that tingling sensation in your hands going into the water. Once this has been done, what you're going to do is you're going to cross Yes, you're going to cross both your feet. So if you're sitting, you can just, you know, cross them one on top of the other. Very simple. And what you're going to do is you're going to, with your right or prominent hand, if your prominent hand is your left, then you're going to be using your left hand. If your right hand is your prominent hand, you're going to be using your right hand. So when you are completely done charging the water, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to tap with your index finger with the prominent hand. You're going to tap into right at the center of your eyebrows. This is your third eye chakra. You're going to tap into it. Tap it a couple of times. With your legs crossed, okay? Or feet crossed, sorry. So once you do this, hold it there. Bring up your glass and speak into the water once again. I call into my here and now $10,000. May it come to me quickly, swiftly, and as soon as possible. Once this is done, really feel the glass. Feel the water. Take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you're ready, you're going to drink this water. Very important, do not drink it in a rush. Do not drink it as, G -g -g -g, I'm trying to, you know, put this down. You're going to take it as, think of it this way. The water that you're taking in is a vehicle of transportation to bring to you what it is that you want. So it's very important to take your time when drinking it and really feel it going down. Really tune into that energy. As the days progress and you continuously keep doing this for 15 days, you will start to experience different manifestations in your life. Whether it's health reasons that you're doing this, you're going to bump into people that perhaps have the same thing you have and that have found a way to either make it better or completely remove it from their life. Uh, you're going to be experiencing a lot of signs um, in the material, meaning you could be driving and, you know, you bump into this huge, you know, uh, truck or van or whatever that has a sign, an example, if you're doing this to get a good job, uh, a person can come to you and tell you, hey, you know where they're hiring, stuff like that, okay? So the thing is with this is be very receptive and surrender to the process. Within 15 days, I guarantee you guys, you guys will start to experience results. Do this on everyday basis, be consistent, and do not stop doing this. If throughout the process of the 15 days you completely forget, you have to start all over. I guarantee you guys that if you do this with faith and with devotion, you guys will definitely see the results and almost um, almost surprise yourselves, okay? This is something that I tell all my clients. We are all capable of getting and attaining results that we want if our intention is there, if our heart is into it 100% and um, the desire and faith is there, you guys will get the results. Again, this is a very simplistic exercise nonetheless. It is very, very effective when it comes to um, abundance, when it comes to prosperity, and when it comes to health. Uh, very powerful. Water is a very essential, um, important factor in our, in our lives, an element that is very important. And when you teach yourself, your brain, your body, and your mind to accept it and to actually use it to the best of, and highest of your um, interest, you will start to see manifestations in your life on everyday basis. Uh, so again, do this. Do not stop doing it. Do it with devotion and faith. And I guarantee that you guys will start to experience a lot of manifestations in your life. One thing to note is 
when it comes to spell work, it is very important, very necessary for you not to focus on the circumstances. And I know that's very difficult for us to do because as humans, we are very attached to the mundane, to what's happening in our surroundings at the moment. And sometimes uh, situations could make us feel so helpless um, that we have absolutely no control over the situation when in reality, we have all the control in the world by how we react to the circumstances and situations. Once you start to learn about this, and once you put the effort to intentionally uh, detach yourself from current situations and focus on the attained goal or what you're wanting to manifest in your life, uh, current circumstances are not going to be an issue anymore because the more you put this effort, this exercise, and the more you come in tune into who you really are and the divine that lies within you and the power that you have to manifest truly and genuinely um, what you want in your life, it becomes almost a natural thing to do. It, it's almost as if the universe is basically we are one with the universe. And the moment you realize this, again, this is something very simplistic to do. Nonetheless, it's very effective. And as you progress and continuously do this in different aspects of your life, I guarantee that you're going to start to experience beautiful manifestations and gratefulness throughout this process. It's very important to be very grateful and thankful for all the opportunities that come into your life. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope that this serves you. Uh, to the highest of your interest and to the highest well-being of you. Wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Okay, bye.